uh, winter tackle testing with Ox Tackle Developments. We've got some outgoing lures um, this uh, season, and so we're going to try a few new lures that we're going to use to replace them. Some of the lures we're losing are some of our uh, slow knuckle jigs. Um, they're outgoing products, they've been really good for us, and all the slow pitch jigging is just getting better and better and better, as is micro jigging. But today we're going to test some slow pitch jigs, some new rigs. These ones that we're going to try are from Zest. We've got a really nice range of, uh, of lures. They already come rigged, which is nice as well, because their old lures weren't rigged. We're going to be trying, there's a few other little uh, sort of Zest jigs here as well that we're going to try. A few Gammy Assist rigs. We're going to run on those with some new Tigstar Assist rigs this season. We've done Chuckoos. These look really nice, and we're going to try these also in our slow pitch jigs. Maybe some vertical jigs for Kingfish. We're going to do all this by workup fishing. We're going to head out towards Cowo Island. We're leaving Party Golf Harbour this morning. We're going to have breakfast, a nice start to the day. And just for a change, we're going to run all these on these little owner cultivar silent snacks. We're going to see what that product's like for changing out jigs really quickly, seeing that it's not going to affect the uh, lures too much, that we don't open them up and that we don't lose any fish or anything to them. The last couple of things we're going to muck around with today. We've just got a new pair of pliers in for the season called Mustard Kaiju. Very similar to Mustard's old featherweight pliers, but with a bit better cutters and jaws on them. And they've got the ability to open uh, even bigger split rings, even easier. So we're looking forward to seeing these in action. And the last thing we've got going is a new uh, rig. We've got a new reel from Maxwell called a Rage R25H. Uh, really lovely little slow pitch reel with a very slow cam in it. A lot less drag than the standard Maxwell's. Instead of having sort of 20 kilos of drag in real this size, you've got seven. And that's paired to a Jigstar slow jerk rod. This is a three ounce version. We're looking forward to doing a bit of slow pitching with this and uh, seeing how it all goes. Follow us along and see what happens. Good to go, mate. Face that just lost the first look at that. we've been doing good. We've even got Davey, he's got a, one of the old outgoing jigs, trying the new Jitsta Nunchaku assists. And uh, he's been hooking up Mary, so looks like they're going to be in next season's gear. We've got the old Zest Leaf, and that's got a set of Nunchakus on it too. How's that been going for you? Yeah, not too bad. Hook it up. Probably, probably more car one than stuff. So that could be the jig. Or just where we're dropping, actually. Yeah. But the hooks have been going well, hooking yeah, in there. Good. Yep. The old Slow J on the Saltiga spin sets had a real good time today. Finding this useful when we've been drifting fast to just belt it ahead on the spin set. It's much easier to cast. It doesn't jig nearly as nicely as my overhead. Certainly not as nice as that little Maxwell and Jigstar combo that we brought out to test today. This has been going alright. And this is another outgoing lure. It's uh, an Inchiku Dial Pirate and uh, its skirts were torn to hell. So we've used our Tickstar Kevlar Super uh, Super Small Assist Cord. It's got a solid ring on it and uh, split ring on to the jig. We've used a really nice little Yamashita 
uh, octopus assisted skirt and these, which we've been very impressed with so far. Galakatsu, I think they're a 62 light jigging hook. Really interesting little hook. On these uh, slow jig assist rigs, these things have been hooking in the corner of the mouth. And we've been getting like a circle hook almost. It's a very unusual shaped hook, but it's working incredibly well. So having a great time with all these things. Hopefully we'll continue to make a positive traffic. Go, go, go! Okay. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a good fish here. Right, you bro. Yeah, we got a first, first fish that's taken line today. We just hope we end up with a cross up. This is this is working D bears. It's actually really nice. It's a beautiful little rod. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Send the drag out to the top here. Oh, yeah. About to pop up. That's on actually that was on one of those zest leaves, I think. Black leaf. Beautiful. Nice fish, mate. Nice. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. It's very except that it's as blown up as a blown up thing. Look. So there's those this is the new nunchucky hooks. It's one there, one there. And one there. Just like that. I don't think this fish is going to do anything but sideways. Because he's, he's just chock full of gas. That's a nice fish. He'll be somewhere up around 60 centimetres. I think we'll dispatch him because it's not kind of fair to try and put him back when he's that blown up. Here his stomach is as tight as a drum. So we'll give this one a quick dispatch. Ooh. There's our jig there. Put a colour down there. Looks like a nice snapper. Oh yes! Oh, oh he's a bit blown out too. It's another, another superb fish. And that one. That's that uh, beautiful orange slow jay, isn't it? It is. So I think this is an orange zebra or orange gold zebra, something like that. I have to get better at remembering what they're all called, but great little jig. Best thing I reckon. These are cyst hooks. Haven't tangled around the line once today, and all of the cords are still in really good nut. Here's Dave loaded up, but if you zoom in behind Dave, over here somewhere. You got gannets just pouring in. We've just come through all that. Oh, so Nigel's hooked up in the background. What do you think of the zest jig so far, then, boys? Yeah, yeah. and zesty. Zest up, very zesty. And uh, I think out of all of those assists, actually, the gammies are my favourite. I think my favourite assists are those Nanchaku jigstar ones. They are, eh? We might have to stock those, I reckon. This one's just an easy fish. The one that Dave's got's got to <laughs> yeah, Dave's, Dave's fish has been kicking his ass for a while. Dave, yeah, are, you just, are you old, or is there a reason why you haven't got this old. fish in yet? But I think I might have it sideways. You think you've got a sideways, what, a sideways behemoth? <laughs> I think you probably find it's just big, fat and old and it's blown up and it's coming up sideways and from a while's way, here we go. Hard pocket pup. Hard pup. A pink one. This is what it is on the boat, you've got to net your own fish.